Welcome back to our next video. In this one, we're going to be doing acid-base equilibrium calculations. So we're going to start out with calculating the pH for strong acids. So the formula for pH is negative log, the concentration of hydrogen ions. So for the pH of strong acids, the calculation is straightforward. So for example, if I ask you what is the concentration of 0.5 moles per dm cube hydrochloric acid. Whatever the concentration of a strong acid, that is also the concentration of your hydrogen ions. And that is because strong acids completely ionize in solution. So any amount of HCl is there, that's the concentration for hydrogen ion. So once it's a strong acid, you will just plug in the, you just go straight to the formula. So it would be negative log, zero point five. So once it's a strong acid, you will just go straight to the formula. and say 0 0.3. So again, here we have a strong acid, sulfuric acid, and it is asking us to find the pH of this solution. So again, you just go straight to this formula. So pH is equal to negative log zero point one That's 0 0.82. So that's for strong acid, just a simple calculation. All right, so for the calculation of pH for weak acids, it's a little different. So one, it's, it's a weak, acid, which means that its dissociation is not complete. So eventually you will have an equilibrium reaction set up. Uh, this video is just to focus on the calculations. So I won't go into much details about why there's an equilibrium and all of that, all right? But just know that for weak acids, when it dissociates, an equilibrium, an equilibrium will be set up. If you are asked to write the equation, do not use a single arrow. It's an equilibrium, so you must use double-headed arrows. Reaction going forward and the reverse reaction. So if you have an equilibrium reaction, you will have an equilibrium constant. For this one, it's Ka to represent the dissociation of the acid. And remember for equilibrium, it is products over reactants. And as you see here, when we're doing this, we assume that the concentration of the H plus and this ion are equal. Because if you look, we have one molecule of ethanoid ion. When it dissociates, you will get one ethanoid ion and one hydrogen ion. So just take it that both of them the concentration of each of them will be equal because every time one of this molecule dissociate, you will get one hydrogen ion and one ethanoid 
ayan. So when we do our equilibrium expression for Ka, it would be the concentration of the products, which is CH3, COO minus times H plus divided by the concentration of the product. And if you're wondering, we don't need to put water there. We can simplify it just by showing the dissociation of the acid. So you don't have to put the water to get H2 plus, all right? Can keep it simple and do it like this. All right, so remember, we said that these two are equal. So if both of them are equal, we don't need to put both of them in the equation. So what we do, we simply say Ka is equal to H plus Ka is equal to H plus squared divided by the concentration of whichever acid you are using. In this case, we are using ethanoic acid. All right, so Ka is equal to H per squared over the concentration of the acid. When it comes to weak acid calculations, this is one formula that you will use, all right? Ka, you can be asked to find the Ka of the acid. So this is one formula that you should remember. Now I'm focusing on the calculation of the pH. So when, you have, when they ask you to calculate the, the pH of a weak acid, they will give you the Ka. Now remember the formula is what? pH is equal to negative log concentration of the hydrogen ions. So what the first thing you will need to do is find the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So for a weak acid, you are going to write this formula. I am going to transpose it to get the hydrogen ion concentration. All right, so to transpose it, we're going to cross multiply. All right, so if we do that, we are going to get H plus squared is equal to Ka times the concentration of the acid. All right, so now we're going to get rid of the square of the hydrogen. So in order to do that, we have to take the square root of the next side. So the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the square root of Ka times the acid concentration. All 
right. So when it comes to weak acid, two equations that you should remember. I'll put it on this side. So one Ka, if you need to find it. All right, so the two equations that you would need to know is here in blue, if you want to find Ka, if you want to find H plus concentration, you transpose this in which you will get Ka times the concentration of the acetic acid or any acid that you are given, any weak acid. All right, so for example, it says calculate the pH of a 0 0.01 moles per dm cube solution of ethanoic acid for which Ka is this. So we know that Ka is equal to H plus squared divided by the acid concentration. Which means that the H plus concentration is equal to the square root Ka All right, so I've gotten a concentration of 4.17 times 10 to the minus four. So now I can go ahead and put this into our pH equation. So that's negative log. All right, so the answer is 3.38. So whenever you're asked to find the pH of a weak acid, they will give you the Ka and the concentration of the acid. You will first find the concentration of the hydrogen ion and then plug it into your formula and they get the pH. So the next question I'm going to do now is when they give you the pH and ask you to find Ka. So you can get you can get Ka and ask to find pH, and you can get pH and ask to find Ka. And so in this question, it gave us the concentration of the acid and the pH, and we want to find Ka. When I want to find Ka, as we know this formula already, it's H plus squared divided by the concentration of the acid. So the first thing we need to do is to get the hydrogen ion concentration. So we know that pH is negative log, the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So if I want H plus from the pH,
it's antilog negative the pH now for my calculator it's shift log all right so probably years it will be second function depending on how it's set up so but for me i'm going to press shift then log then negative two point eight eight And I will get 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, so we do this when we want to get pH, sorry, when we want to get hydrogen ions from the pH. Right. That's the calculation you will, will do. So once you have the H plus, we can go ahead now and work out Ka. Remember to square it. Okay, so my answer for Ka is 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5. All right, so I'm going to end this one, this video here, and the second video, it will be on KB. So KA is the acid dissociation constant, KB, that's the base dissociation constant. So I'm going to do strong base and weak base calculations. All right, so if you have any comments, you can leave comment section.